Hello dear friends and viewers, you are again warm welcome on this Geo entire YouTube channel that is all about the earth. Yesterday on the UPSC website, there is one notification is posted regarding the combined geoscientist examination 2020-20. So in this notification, there are different vacancies. When we compare the vacancies of last year in this year, in this year, the vacancies are more. And in this video, I will tell you what are the benefits of the combined geoscientist examinations, how you can apply for these examinations, what is the last date of submission of application form, then what are the penalties for the wrong answers, what are the different exam centers situated in the in our country. Then what is the plan of examinations, how these examinations are conducted, total number of vacancies and what is the eligibility criteria for the appear for these examinations and exam pattern. These things I will share in this video. So let us move on the laptop screen, we will see in detail. So dear friends, in this year, the uh, combined geoscientist examination 2022. So these geologists are recruited are working in the Geological Survey of India and this Geological Survey of India is the nation's principal mapping agency. One more benefit of this geologist or this post is the UPSC geologist having good salary. Then third thing that is the lifetime pensions and job securities once you recruited. So these are the some benefits of the uh, this job. How you can apply for these examinations? So there is a website just you have to click on this UPSC online examinations. So automatically the site will be open. You see this one. So this is the yeah this one you see this one just you have to click on this link. So there are Combined geoscientist examinations, this is, this is a preliminary exam. So, Hindi mein use Sainth Bhuvadnanik Prarambik Pariksha kahite hai. This examination will be conducted in the year, in the next year, that is the 2022. So, this is the closing date of this application form, that is the 12 October 2021 having two parts, the first part that is the registration and second one is the registration part 2. So now you have to apply on this particular website that is the https upsconline.nic.in. This is the link for the uh, this particular UPSC site. So one more thing you have to uh, take care, candidate should have details of one ID proof. So this ID proof may be Aadhaar card, may be your voter card, may be your PAN card, passport, driving license, any other photo ID which is issued by state or central government. So this type of photo ID you have to uh, keep with you during filling this exam form. Then the last date of submission of this form. So you can fill this form from the today onwards up to the 12th October 2021 till up to 6 pm. So you, you have to fill this form online on this website. The eligible candidates shall be issued an e-admission certificates. It is also called as hall ticket and these hall tickets will get you within the three weeks before the commencement of the examinations e-admission certificates will be sent by the post but that is not possible because these admission certificates you will send by the and your email. So you have to keep your active email id. So this is the very very important thing and the screening test or preliminary test which will be held on the 20th February penalty for the wrong answers. If you have 
there is a mcq pattern preliminary examination is mcq pattern and if candidate should know that there will be penalty or negative marking system for wrong answers marked by the candidate in the objective type questions so this is the very very important note for the students and the preliminary centers exam centers in india ahmedabad is there bangalore bhopal chandigarh chennai katak delhi dispur hyderabad jaipur jammu kolkata lucknow mumbai patna prayagraj or it is called as alabad silong shimla and tiru anandpuram so these are the 19 centers on these centers you can give your examinations then plan of examination the combined geoscientist examination will consist of three successive stages so first stage that is called as preliminary stage or preliminary examination and this is the objective type exam and the total marks for this examination or this stage is the 400 marks second stage that is called as main examinations and in this examinations there are descriptive type questions the main examination will be held on 25th and 26th june of next year that is the 2022 the main exam will be held on the bhopal chennai delhi dispur hyderabad kolkata lucknow mumbai and shimla these are the centers where this particular uh, main examination will be held and this examination for the total 600 marks then stage third personality test or it is called as interview and this interview test for the 200 marks so this is the plan up examination of this geologist examination now we will see the total vacancies so there are two categories category 1 the post in the geological survey of india it is under the ministry of mines so there are different types of three post that is the geologist group a geophysicist group a chemist group a so geologist group a uh, total post are near about 100 geophysicist group a post there are 50 chemist that is the group a post there are 20 so these are the category first post and particularly once you selected so the posting will be under the geological survey of india which is under the ministry of mines then category second these posts are the in the central ground water board that is the cgwb and this is under the ministry of jal shakti department of water resources river development and ganga rejuvenation so this is the ministry under which this uh, category uh, two posts are filled so there are scientist b particular geo hydrogeology group a post there are near about 20 posts scientist b that is a chemical there are one post scientist b this is again one post so total post near about you see this one that is the 170 post for the category 1 and there are 22 post for the category 2 so this is this is the total vacancies uh, in this geo scientist examination 2022 now we will see the what is the eligibility conditions so first criteria is that the candidate having nationality should be indian age limit the minimum age limit 21 and maximum 32 for example if he or she must have been born not earlier than 2nd january 1990 and not later than 1st january 2001 so in some rare cases if uh, category is different or some uh, physically handicapped is there so in this case or government servant is there so in this case there are some age correction so minimum age that is the 21 and maximum is 32 what is the educational qualification so there are first category that is the geologist group a examinations so the candidate must have master degree in geological science or geology or applied geology or geo exploration or mineral explorations so the candidate must be masters in these different courses or engineering geology or marine geology or earth science and resource management or the oceanography and coastal areas studies or petroleum geo sciences or geochemistry from the university or any equivalent course which is 
under the state or the central so this is the qualification required for the giving this examinations then geophysicist group a the candidate must be msc in physics or applied physics or geophysics or integrated msc in exploration geophysics msc applied geophysics or msc marine geophysics or msc uh, take applied geophysics from the different university from india so this is the general education educational class uh, qualification for giving this examinations then we will see the preliminary exam pattern so these examinations are taken in the three stages first stage that is the preliminary examination second stage that is the main examination and third that is the interview or personality test so the preliminary examination for the geologist and the junior hydrogeologist there are basically two papers one is the general studies and second one is the paper 2 that is based on the geology or hydrology general studies paper having duration that is the 2 hours and maximum mark is 100 and paper 2 having maximum mark 300 total 400 marks are there same pattern for the geophysics examination chemist also so the preliminary examinations for the 400 all these three categories then main exam pattern when we see the exam pattern the subject that is the main exam once you qualified this preliminary examination then uh, you call for the main exam pattern and this pattern having three papers for the geology examination paper 1 geology paper 2 geology and paper 3 geology these papers are based on the different uh, papers particularly when we see the paper first in which uh, there are different papers and each paper having 200 marks and the time is given 300 3 hours same for the geophysicist same for the chemist and same for the hydrogeologist so this is the pattern for the examinations so in the next video i will tell you what is the exact the whole syllabus in the next video so in the description of this video i have given the link of upsc website so you have to click on that so you will go on the upsc website so with this i stop here thank you